Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how devices like this multimeter measures current. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so before we start talking about the multimeter, oops, first we want to talk about the really just basic circuit. So right now we have the voltage and a simple resistor as a load. So if we measure current, so if we want to calculate current, I equals V over R which is 10 volts over 100 ohms, which is 100 milliamps or 0.1 amps. So 0.1 amps. Okay, so if that is current going this way through the circuit into the load. Now, if we want to measure current, there's essentially two different ways we can do it. We can use uh, essentially a clamp on meter what that would do is we, we measure the magnetic fields around this wire, or we can use something called a current shunt. Now what a current shunt does is we add, it adds another resistor in parallel with the load. Now this resistor uh, will have a super small resistance like 0.1 or 0.01. What that means is that the current going through the load is still gonna be pretty much the same. This resistor is so small, it doesn't actually affect current that much but when it has like a 0 0.1 uh, ohms what we do is we take another voltmeter we put that in series with the current shunt resistor and then we can measure the voltage across this current now if we want to calculate calculate the voltage across the resistor it just this equation just written slightly different so it's V equals I R. Since we know it's 0 0.1 amps times 0 0.1 ohms, that equals, what's that? Um, that equals 10 milliamps. Yeah, 10 milliamps. But we don't really usually calculate Sorry, 10 millivolts. There we go. That's why I was confused. Not have 10 millivolts. So, but we don't usually calculate that. We usually measure the voltage across this resistor. So when we get a voltage, we convert that back into current by this equation right here again. So we take the so we take the 10 millivolts, which is what we will see uh, across this resistor. Then we will divide that by the resistance of 0 0.1. Then we'll get current. Now. One thing to note is that the load does not see source voltage anymore. Um, it usually doesn't matter. This is such a small resistor where, which it shouldn't matter, that the load will still see the 10 volts. But when you get a lower vo uh, ohms for your load, say something like maybe 10, maybe even lower, you will actually start seeing that this resistor takes a bigger percentage of this volts. So what you're going to do is Instead of measuring source voltage as your as the voltage for the power equation, you want to measure voltage across the load. So if you use like a power bank, you won't be able to use the voltage displayed on the screen. You want to have to get a voltmeter in there and measure the voltage across the load. Okay, guys. So I'm going to set up one of these circuits with my power meter. I'll show you how it works. Okay, be right back. Okay, so here I have the very first basic circuit I had set up earlier. I got a 100 ohm resistor set up here. If you hear a fan, that's the power supply. Sorry about that. I can't really do much about it. But I got 10 volts set up on the power supply. And this number is millivolts, not, sorry, this number is milliamps, not amps. So I got 100 milliamps going through the circuit. That's what we calculated earlier. So that's good. Now, this multimeter will still have a current shunt built into it. But as you can see right now, the circuit says, 100.3 milliamps. Okay, so right next. So now I'm going to add this, what is it? This resistor in series with our load resistor. Now this is a 0 0.11 ohm resistor. I couldn't find a 0 0.1, but this is close enough. I'm going to put that in series with our resistor. So I'm going to turn the power supply off. I'm going, to, I'm going to disconnect the circuit and I'm going to add this. I'm going to add the resistor 
in series. So here you can see the second circuit set up now. So I got our current shunt resistor right here, the 0 0.11 ohm resistor. It's in series with the load resistor, the 100 ohms, back to the power supply. So I'm going to turn the power supply back on. It is still 10 volts. So then you will see that there's a voltage being produced across our shunt resistor that is 11.3 millivolts. So 11.3 millivolts. And then I'm just going to turn this off again. And then we can do our equation. I equals V over R. V equals 11.3 millivolts. R equals the 0 0.11 ohms. And I need a calculator for that. 11.3 divided by 0 0.11 ohms. And then you will see we got 102.7 milliamps. Now this is pretty similar to our 100.3 milliamps. It's a little different just because I think the multimeter is just slightly off with voltage, but it's close enough. Okay, so you may even be wondering why we even use a current shunt. So devices like this multimeter likes voltage. It measures voltage. So instead of using a, a magnetic field to produce a to measure current, we use the voltage itself. Now the magnetic field does get affected by a lot of things, other electronics. So it's not too accurate. Even the earth magnetic field will affect it. So one of those clamp on meters might have uh, two decimal places or three decimal places, but this with this shunt resistor you can measure a lot more accurate current Because you can measure millivolts a lot better than you can measure milliamps So another reason why you also want a current shunt is you can measure much more amps now this multimeter Only has about 10 amps uh, max with this current shunt you can measure a lot more amps going through the circuit this resistor won't handle much more amps, but this resistor will, it's a 10, yeah, 10 watt resistor. It can, since it's a super low voltage uh, potential across it, it really won't see much power loss. But that's pretty much all I really want to talk about current shunts and how these multimeters measure. So right now I'm going to actually open up this multimeter and I'm pretty sure we will be able to see something like this, a resistor. Maybe it looks like this, it might look more something like this, but bigger. But we're going to open up this and we're going to actually see what resistance it uses as the current shunt. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, so I got all the screws out of this multimeter. I'm just going to open up the back panel. I, hasn't, I haven't looked at this yet. Okay. And I'm assuming this is big resistance. Let me just uh, look what these are. Okay, so at first I thought it was this resistor, but this resistor is way, actually way too big. It's has a green band, so it's like 100k, whatever. But after further inspections, actually this resistor, and the color code is brown, black, black, silver. So that is what, 100 times 0 0.01, I think. So yeah, this is just a one ohm resistor. Let me just check about that silver. Uh, I'm not actually too sure, for one sec. Okay, yeah, so it is a 0 0.01 ohm resistor. Oh, sorry, 0 0.01 multiplier. So it is a 1 ohm resistor, so... So it is just a 1 ohm resistor. Okay, guys, that's going to be the end of this video. If you like to give it a thumbs up, I really do appreciate it. Check out my main channel, Tabletop Robotics. Check out my Instagram, all that fun stuff. Links down below in the description. Um, I'll see you next time. Bye.